This is code.org, and we're going to investigate and modify. Let's see what we're doing. Run the program. Yep. Boom. And what do we have here? We have an integer and a double. And notice, guys, this isn't just int or lowercase double, right? This is actually going to be a wrapper class. Let's see what we're getting into. And what I mean by that, integer is not just a binary value. Usually we've seen like int x equals 10 or whatever, right? This is just a binary value. The only thing x is equal to is the binary representation of the value 10. Integer is a class of itself, and it provides us more flexibility uh, than maybe just int was. That doesn't mean int shouldn't be used. It's often more than sufficient. Uh, it looks like they want me to copy and paste this stuff. Uh, what I believe they're attempting to show us here is that you can also just directly assign. Uh, I think Java 5 maybe added boxing. So you can assign uh, integer values like this, certainly, but you can also do it this way as well. Yes, okay. Uh, create an int variable called total. Set it to store the result of the first integer plus the second integer. Okay. Then print the value. Stored in total. Okay, I'm just going to borrow there. Print ln, copy, and paste. And I guess this is showing that, yes, you can add these together and result in a basic data type, which is int. Add the following code. Sure. Copy. Paste. And this is some of the functionality of our integer class. It has access to these properties, the minimum and max values available. The reason these are the minimum and max values is because binary integers are 32 bits or four bytes, and it runs out of room to represent values. So a normal integer, this is as high as the computer can go. Now there are different data types that can store longer numbers, to be clear. What are they gonna have us do? What do you think will happen if you add a one to the maximum? Ah, so if we add to a maximum value here, I can tell you, I guess we can see as well, it's gonna, it's going to overflow in our memory. So it's going to go beyond what actually the byte wise, the zero one space allows to be stored. And so this is not going to go up by one. It's going to be kind of strange. Boom. It actually flips it to negative. And this one was flipped to positive. And that's because integers only again have 32 bits. When you add to them beyond that point, there is more, there, the amount of zeros and ones needed to represent this number to represent this number plus one is more than 32. So it looks like an error. It cannot do it. It flips to a different number because what really happens, I don't, again, this would be 32 different bytes, but what's really happening, we'll pretend this is the binary to represent whatever number this is. And so when we add one to it, it's like, oh, okay, so now I need to, I don't know, add an 11 here to the end of this. However, pretending this is 32 long, it can't add the 11. And adding the 11 might bump this back to a zero for some reason. So the number is going to change, right? It changes, but we aren't seeing the tail end of it because we're out of bytes. So it still takes the first 32 or the last 32 characters. We don't see the other bits because we're out of space. And so it behaves oddly. I also want to point out that this is the integer and double class. These aren't the the primitive data types that we've seen double wouldn't have be capitalized integer is just int but we're going to dig into this more all right cool onward